Hello, folks, and welcome to Alternate Reality, the city. Yes, I was going to plan a walkthrough to this game, but I thought it would be too boring. Because technically all you do is walk around the Breck Demise, exploring the city. That's all you do. So there's not really much to see in this game. What you just saw was a UFO transferring you to this city. Yes, you have been abducted by a UFO. Data Soft was going to make an entire series out of this, starting with the city, then the dungeon, the arena, then eventually it was going to end up in Revelation. I think that was supposed to be the last episode, but Data Soft sold out to Software 2 Works, and Software 2 Works didn't want to pick up their reason. That was it. That was the end of the series. The Alternate Reality series only had two sequels. One was The City, which I'm going to show you right in a few moments, and the other one was The Dungeon. This is your startup screen right here. You have Hit In to start a new character. Hit E to resume an existing one and hit T for a temporary character. Once you start a new character in this game, you can save it to disc. But once you die off in the game, you're, you're gone forever. And the only way to get back into the game is to back up your character disc and resume it from there. There's no load menu in this game. There's only a save menu. That's where the E comes in, resume an existing character. So if you have a backup character disc, you can resume the character from the backup disc. We're going to hit T for temporary character, and we're going to name the character. This is your stat screen right here, believe it or not. Instead of the uh, game giving you stats, you have to pick your stats, I guess. And depending on what they all land on is what you get. And this is your copper right here. Depending on what your copper lands on is what you get. If you don't like the stats at first, you can keep restarting the game and hitting the space bar until you get what you want. But as you can see, some are going too fast and you can't read them. Oh, hit points 19. I didn't do too bad. Charm 17. You cannot kill off anything. Mugger. Nope, I don't think it's on the list. Muggers aren't on the list. This game does give you a list of monsters to kill. Guard. Nope, the guard's not on the list. I'll tell you what the list is right here. Assassin, Orc, Giant Rat, Black Slime, Scepter, Imp, Null, Troll, Wolf, Ghost, Zombie, Ghoul, Goblin, Night Stalker, Brown Mold, Rat, Gremlin, and Skeleton are the only monsters in this game that you can kill off. This game wants you to keep a, a good profile. If you pick up a bad profile by just killing everything that you run into, the game will start treating you real bad. You'll start losing your copper, your uh, water flask, and your food packets will, will be stolen. Your compass will be stolen when you get one. And two. Six. Okay. So he's not on the list. You can try and avoid him. Shop. I think in some cases you can apply for a job and earn money. Yeah, three. 
a janitor for three hours at 15 copper per hour. Not bad. Uh, sir, you don't need no more stamina. So it says my stamina is not that high. So some of these places you go and apply for work, you need uh, certain skills. this nope you're not on the list so you become a resident of the city guard nope that's what you do you become a resident of the city Until nine, I guess. Nope. Five. Leave me alone. That's a bench you. You're gonna get hungry and thirsty. Four. Sorry, but we cannot offer you a job right now. So you can eat if you want, I guess. Mugger. Nope. Muggers aren't on the list. Darn. It took two of my hat points. Darn mugger. Catheters are on the list. So you. S no, swordsmen aren't you know, on the list. Leave me alone. No, they're still not open. Guard, nope. That's a temporary character. As soon as you die off, your game's finished. You see, you can save a temporary character. If you want to save your game, just hit S. So that's all you do right here. I don't think this will be very interesting for a playthrough. Of course, I don't know if this has guild in it or not. Oh, it's seven. I should gotta wait one hour. I think I tried this before. Yeah. Some more stamina. Nope. So you have to deal with the characters of the city, yep. Technically what you really want to do is hang out at night when it's raining, when the weather's bad, and you'll get bad characters. You don't really want to do that because it, it'll damage your health staying out in the rain. You'll start catching cold and stuff like that. You can't get sick in this game. Which I think it was a first at the time. Of course, this game was the first 3D scrolling game that I've ever seen. It was in it was in 3D, so this game was ahead of its time.
Yeah, see now it's raining now, cool. It's raining out. Now we might pick up some bad characters to fight. Uh, you don't really want to stay out in the rain that much. and paralyzed and when you die that's what happens now that you're gone some will agree on on and on I know you'll be back again Maybe next time will be the time you win. Yeah, I think that this game has music to it, but the PC version that I'm playing here doesn't. So yeah, it'll just dump you the DOS, that's all it'll do. So this has been Alternate Reality City. I hope you enjoyed this little preview of it. This is Gamer Lawn signing out, saying thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, folks. Take care.